Hello everyone, this is Venus Brown and today I'm going to be reacting to Season 3, Episode 1 of The Crown called Olding. Now to me that sounds ageist, but I don't know because I don't know what Olding actually means. So let's find out. The post office is delighted with the new profile, ma'am. A postal stamp. Which they feel to be an elegant reflection of Her Majesty's transition from young woman to... Old bet. <laughs> a mother of four, a <sighs> settled sovereign. God, I love her. Age is rarely kind to anyone. Nothing one can do about it. One just has to get on with it. I will go and change that intro a little bit later on since it's my first time getting a new introduction on there. But for this episode, we'll get that full introduction. He even had a, a KGB code name. Holding. Well, if you know it and your chum knows it, obviously MI5 will know it. And they must have come to the conclusion that Mr. Wilson was fine or they would have done something about it. Yes, they never expected him to get this far. Mm -hmm. no like Trump. Not that I would compare the two at all. New is not your name. No. So, when I ask you... Violet, to... ma'am. She left, ma'am. Nervous exhaustion. <laughs> this is an interesting cast of characters, isn't it? Artemisia Gentileschi. Never heard of him either. Her. Sir. Eyes lift. Eyes lift. They're not stupid, which I appreciate. So to that end, where are we now, do you suppose? The frighteningly modern. <laughs> I think that all depends on the result of the general election today. Oh, yes. Have you voted? I know one shouldn't ask. I have, ma'am. Conservative. Really? I always had you down as a man of the left. Well, perhaps once. Not anymore. Who's this? Rembrandt, an old man in military costume. Wonderfully enigmatic character. Speaking of enigmas, what do we make of Mr. Wilson? One's heard the rumors, of course. Rumors, ma'am? Yes, whilst on a trade mission to Moscow. The KGB got him. Nonsense, I know. I wouldn't dismiss them so quickly. <laughs> For a young socialist to visit Russia in those days, with an impressionable mind. It's not unthinkable he might have been turned to more radical ideas. But Mr. Wilson is an older man now, and I'm sure a wiser one. Terrible bully. You are my guardian angel. <laughs> the roof over my head. Great Britain be without its... He's sleeping, isn't greatest he? Greatest Britain. See, I really now, thought they didn't make it very far, it but apparently great. there's still a thing. Destiny lies firmly in the hands of Mr. Wilson. Okay, I really know nothing about this Wilson Prime Minister. Sir, the protocol is buzz and I'll come and get you. Bow from the neck and walk back towards me. Well, uh, I suppose I should kick things off with an apology. Whatever for? Winning. 
Now for the mess those conservatives left us. Mouse crisis, race riots, sex scandals, unemployment, rejection from the EEC, and an annual trade deficit of 800 million. Your little success and my party cannot risk being seen as the party of devaluation. Pound is a powerful symbol. Kind of thing, an easy one to get used to. What's that? Well, you being part of that symbol, your face on every coin and banknote. My father's face on a shilling for the first time and thinking how odd it looked. At the same time, realizing I would probably one day have to look at my own face. But one never knows what destiny has in store for one. Highly unremarkable. <laughs> Best qualities yeah, in like a spy. A stuffed shirt. What did you say? Stand out in a crowd. We used to say that about Henry, didn't we, dear? What? That you would have made the perfect spy because no one could remember having met you. Better than everyone having nightmares, having met you! <laughs> <laughs> she looks quite disturbed. He looks like Tony, he's enjoying himself. One never knows quite goes from loving to hating. Mummy, you're not listening. Hmm? Try not to let him consume you like this. It's kind of pretty, but the curtains really clash with that whole setup there. He's your nun of the time. Mm, this is always working, traveling or water skiing. Oh, my new passion, ma'am. Your Majesty, there's a telephone. I'm the lady in Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Henry. Winston is dead. Well, maybe that's why I don't remember him. That was very fast. The heck? Was he assassinated? <sighs> so what did they do with that? If he just died right after taking the position, I don't know that that matters, but then what's the kind of chain that comes in place once the prime minister dies? Anybody know? Are they going to tell us? A great man who has rendered memorable his country and to the Oh, world. it was the... that he was raised up in That reaction is to the wrong person. Not for the British establishment. So it's true. He had become more and more suspicious. Indeed. And that he should have been able to carry on for so long undetected to all of us the spy in downing street those rumors you're talking about harold wilson so yes, just like i was confused about the two they were confused about two sets years. of rumors don't have a russian spy in downing street no <laughs> in buckingham palace <laughs> hidden intention multiple meanings of this guy of the queen's pictures sir anthony blunt was the fourth man in the cambridge spy ring and the painting was restored to reveal deceit is two-faced she has a second monstrous visage and that alongside conducting a distinguished career spent 15 years as an active kgb mole and passed almost 2,000 documents of sensitive military secrets to the Kremlin. Truth will out. Well, that sounds very self-prophetic. With his career and reputation intact, just to spare MI5's blushes, man should be shot. I agree. But instead I had to get up and pay tribute to him at this exhibition. How am I supposed to get through my speech? I might choke on my words. Finding clues, unlocking secrets. It's been quite an education. <laughs> I particularly enjoyed the portrait, which turned out to have another person lurking beneath the surface. And in the dark, as usual. Uh, not another person, ma'am. The same person. Two different versions of the same person. The idealized version of themselves they want to be seen. <laughs> And the less desirable person they really are, hidden away, <laughs> is even worth it, Pelham says. Or to trust or look at anything in the same way ever again. <laughs> to 
apologize in person. What for? There's no need to understand. All you need to know <laughs> is that I misjudged you terribly. <laughs> and I'd like to take this opportunity to say sorry. Yes, art, paintings. Well, actually, no, no. Uh, I'm an economist, statistician at heart. I'm happiest with numbers or mystery or deception or allegory. C is what you get. I prefer things that way. I quite agree. <laughs> the very least you could do is quietly crawl away and <laughs> force us to. I'm going to be watching you expose you and have you thrown in jail. I would think long and hard before I did that, sir. Reflect on your own position. What are you talking about? You may remember. <laughs> there was talk of a member of the royal family. Very senior. Their hands on those portraits. Most all sorts of things to make sense of the past. Happy for your truth to be the truth. The storm it would create. And for what? the past. <laughs> well, that was quite an episode. Just goes to show you start digging around too much in the upper levels of society or even the lower levels of society, you never quite know what you're going to get. Until next time, I'll see you when I see you. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want more content, click subscribe. If you click that little bell and click all, then you'll get more content notifications.